Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to run the PS2 PlayStation 2 um, emulator on your Steam Link so you can play in your living room on your couch. Um, and basically this is easier than it might seem. What you have to do is you get the newest uh, version of the PS2 emulator PCSX2. You start that up first before you add it to Steam and it's going to look like this going to have the console you have to turn off the console right otherwise uh, when you start it through the steam link it's going to show up and you can't um, use your controller anymore and you can't do you can't really play the game so we're going to turn that off then you have to configure it and there are a lot of uh, videos out there and tutorials on how to uh, configure the emulator for specific games to have the best um, visual and uh, gameplay results uh, possible for games you have to configure your controller right and I and this is a little tricky um, especially if you have one controller in your PC and one controller in your link um, so you have to play around a little bit with this so you configure your controller for the emulator and then um, you have to um, look at these two right here <clears throat> and maybe um, like uh, disable one of them right and um, or maybe swap them but it definitely works um there aren't that many possibilities um for to get the correct one for steam link um the other thing you should do is of course uh, raise the resolution a little bit so it looks much crisper and clearer on your tv um, if you have a, a good system uh, this won't be a problem but as I said, there are a lot of videos out there that um, explain this in depth. So that's it. We're going to exit. And Windows 10, I don't know if the other Windows version handles uh, handle, handles it the same way. Sometimes you end, uh, you quit the emulator and it's going to still be in the task manager. So you have to manually end the task or you will run into problems. So the next thing we are going to have to do is add the emulator to Steam. And the way you do this is you go to games and then add, add uh, non-Steam games to my library. You have a list of all your applications. You just select the emulator with one of the little check marks and go to add selected programs. And now you have it in your list. So, and now comes the essential part of this guide. You go to properties and you go to set launch options. You can see there's this long thing right here. Um, I'm just gonna delete this for now. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna have to add these two things to the launch options first. And I'm gonna post them in the description so you can just copy paste them. Basically what it does is it uh, automatically um, puts the game window into full screen and it turns off the GUI, which is uh, the one where you can change the settings and stuff. So you add this and now you need to um, direct to the ISO or bin file itself. And the easiest way to do this is, let me go to the desktop. The easiest way to do this is you have the two, I have two games right here, Lego Star Wars and, and uh, WWE Smackdown. So what you do is you press the right mouse button go to create shortcut. It's going to create a shortcut. You go to properties and you see the target field right here. You just copy this and then you go back into the launch options. Make sure you have a, an empty space after the no GUI and you just paste it in there. Press OK. And now you can just close this. You can just press play and it's going to run the game that you selected in full screen mode. And now it's also going to work on the Steam Link, um, as you can see in this video right here. Sorry for the shaky camera, but um, I was holding it with my hand and the controller works too. Everything's fine. Now you can sit on the couch and play your PS2 games. So I hope this helped and have fun with your Steam Link. Goodbye.